here we have the monotrail. First thing, first thing we have to do is to check if we have version 2.1. So we have to turn it off and press play and gate and turn it on. And this is the the pattern that you must observe if you have version 2.1x. Uh, this last lathe uh, it's something a little bit different. They don't explain in the manual, so I, I cannot even say how now how this is going to for activating the CV gate input. Um, we have to press gate time and the snare button and then turn this on so step one on is cv gate input i already used it once if it's off the sync in works only has a sync in so you have to put this one on um LED 2 is for the, um, if you want to use uh, volts per octave or, uh, her or hertz per volt. Um, the microboot uses um, volts per octave, so I'm going to leave this one off. And uh, the gate priority can also be off. Um, uh, finally, there is something you still have to do on this mode, which is to pick up your uh, output or input, plug it in the sink in. Uh, as you can see, I, I already have the DIN tribe uh, mod or MIDI connectivity. And you also need two legs to plug it to the um, pits and gate out of the micro -brood. Uh You can use this um, 8 inch 3.5 millimeter uh, stereo jacks to connect them. It is not the most recommended way to do this you should use aerovac patch cables that are the mono version of this so they only have the 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 jack is like the the ones on the mini boot they only have the the tip and the sleeve um i couldn't find them uh easily so i'm going to use this one and perhaps either some from amazon or something that delivers here um so i'm going to put the green one for control voltage and the black one for gate and now we have to connect them uh, to the back of the micro -blue. Now let's you have these ones, the two connected. You need to put the C4 node, I think is this one, and press play. To, so this is a calibration procedure you need. So you press C4 and you press the Play, play button until this web goes out. Now you go one octave higher, you press C5 and again. Okay, now press record and I'm going to mute. 
So this is the mono track. As you can see, the CV output doesn't glide, so you can have. Okay, everything is working. Um, now, one neat thing you can do with this is to. I'm going to just put down the plug from the mana drive to actually feed the output of the mono drive to the external audio input of the micro boot. So now uh, this can get a little bit high. So every you have this small plug here. Uh, so everything to the left is zero, and you can increase it. Which means that you have one filter, two filters, so you basically can do a lot more and um, actually you can use the monotribe has a second sub oscillator you can uh, up oscillator so you can you don't need to let go of the upper below to use the um, the fifth um I'm going to end this video now, because this has been a very long video. I'm probably going to cut some parts. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you find it useful. If you do, uh, please um, put a like, put a comment, uh, subscribe. It's that small icon down there. And um, I'll probably publish something I'll do with this setup uh, in the very near future. So um, keep watching and um, have fun.